morning, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Monday's trading session, the 13th of February 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of the uh, numbers uh, today, uh, we have the Asian markets higher overnight. We have the China certainly closing higher. Shanghai index up at 0.6%, the Hang Seng 0.5%, so China generally higher across the board. Also, we have the Nikkei up 0.4%. Now, I did uh, actually discuss the fact that the Asian markets would certainly be into resistance, which in turn will trigger risk aversion going into European markets, and that hasn't been the case thus far. Okay, so certainly uh, showing, uh, showing some resilience. Uh, at present in terms of the uh, the market moves uh, at present so again certainly needs to be respected to a large extent the Nikkei as well I was expecting Nikkei to certainly hold into gap fill now it certainly did actually move lower overnight the uh, Nikkei certainly uh, touching the uh, pivot high of 19,500 before it pulled back uh, in terms of uh, the close at 19,450 uh, and then we also had the USD JPY break below the uh, the key at no point uh, well, 114 zone okay now if i bring up the usd jpy certainly holding that uh, diagonal trend line resistance okay the 60 minute chart hit a pivot high 114.2 and as you can see there it's certainly starting to break below okay so we had the uh, gdp numbers out overnight in uh, in japan certainly coming in more or less in line if anything okay certainly coming in line if anything uh, in terms of um, the uh, Geopolitical risk, we had uh, Mr. Uh, Kim Jong-un uh, firing a potential uh, inter uh, intercontinental ballistic missile ICBM. And again, that's certainly raising concerns. Uh, in terms of the bearish arguments, you have the Social Democrats narrowing the gap against Merkel's party. So therefore, again, uncertainty there. Uh, Juncker indicating uh, Grexit phase. Uh, and also we had the um, Mr. Lagarde mentioning the political uncertainty going forward. Uh, also, Frexit phase we have as well, and Brexit phase. UK spending certainly down. Visa uh, and uh, basically testifying that uh, the consumer spending certainly down in January, so certainly isn't a good sign going forward. Fed's Fisher also highlighted fiscal concerns going forward again, uh, risk off move. Okay, German wholesale inflation this morning as well on the on the higher side, therefore indicating or keeping the euro bid, and thereby indicating a t tapering phase. Okay. And Germans certainly looking to potentially raise interest rates. And obviously the North Korean missile crisis really is the uh, the main geopolitical tension at present, which certainly has helped oil to a large extent. <clears throat> okay, so net-net, I should technically be uh, indicated as a risk-off move, although the Asian market still remains resilient and US equities obviously are into new highs. So let's look at the actual technical picture now. Let's bring up, start off with the DAX itself. Okay, let's start off with the German DAX daily chart. I've already indicated, provided the German DAX remains below the FIB 61 to 75%, the bias certainly will remain negative. Okay, at the moment we're still hovering around the FIB 61. FIB 75 is 11.790. If we break 11.790, then obviously the bulls certainly come back with a vengeance. So just bear that in mind, okay, in terms of the next potential move. Okay, now going over to the smaller time frame, 60 minute chart on the uh, German DAX, you, you certainly have resistance in this zone here, okay? If you break through this, which, which, which is pivot R2, then you are looking at pivot R3 and then gap fill resistance at 11.810. So just bear that in mind, okay? 10 minute chart on the German DAX at the moment, you are into that pivot R2 resistance. Uh, okay, so certainly looking over uh, bought at this juncture, you have the unfilled gap that's been left behind now. Okay, certainly looking to potentially close that gap. So, from my perspective, my bias certainly will be negative, but bear in mind there is that unfilled gap at 11.810 that may well close. Okay, so just bear that in mind as a trader. Always look at both possibilities in terms of trading, but my bias certainly at present is bearish. Okay, in terms of the French CAC, let's bring up the daily chart here, folks. Okay, daily chart hitting that key diagonal trend line. Daily chart actually has taken out FIB 75% from an intraday basis. Whether it closes below that is a different question, so just bear that in mind. Okay, and you are looking for a lower high here as well. <clears throat> 60 minute chart, the French CAC certainly has broken through that resistance level. You are approaching pivot R3 resistance. If we fail to hold that, then the next key resistance is seen at 4,900, okay, on the uh, the French CAC. 10-minute chart more or less paints the same picture. You're uh, approaching pivot R3 resistance now, looking for resistance. Obviously, you've got the unfilled gap below, looking to potentially close that. So, again, keep an eye on the gap below. Uh, and bias certainly would, for my, my bias at present, anyway, would be certainly to potentially... Uh, close that gap okay aim towards that gap okay given the political uncertainty 
etc. in France, Brexit, Brexit, etc. All those concerns certainly uh, increasing, okay, from my understanding and my interpretation. Okay, in terms of the uh, FTSE 100 now, let's bring up the FTSE daily chart, certainly remaining weak, especially with the visa indicating uh, consumer spending, certainly on the decline, okay. And obviously we have Brexit fears in the background as well, uh, several articles over the weekend, okay, holding daily Fib 61%. And the monthly candle really, from my perspective, is the key. Provided we have all that topping tail on the monthly chart, which is the last day of January, the, the, the selling certainly came in with, with a vengeance. Okay, if we hold that, bias remains bearish. 60-minute chart, obviously you can see multiple topping tails now, certainly looking exhausted. This bull flag certainly looking weak and weaker, holding horizontal resistance and diagonal trend line resistance as well. 10-minute jar, okay, the wall, Great Wall of China, okay, 7270 zone, 7273, looking for the FTSE to certainly move lower, okay? So bias certainly remains bearish there. <clears throat> In terms of the Euro stocks, last but not least, uh, the Euro stocks at the moment is certainly targeting that potential gap fill zone at 3300. They're certainly looking for risk aversion once we close that gap. 60-minute chart has negated the bear flag, so again, certainly needs to be respected to a large extent, even with German wholesale inflation which really is quite confusing. But again, bias certainly remains bearish from my perspective, especially with one rate of inflation rising, US markets potentially topping out with Russell 2000 and Dow certainly holding resistance zones as well. The, the FTSE FIB holding 61%, obviously uh, higher inflation, Brexit, Frexit and Brexit fears all certainly accumulating. Okay, so just bear that in mind. Okay, so I think that's a good summary then in terms of the uh, the actual European markets at present. You have the 10-minute uh, chart here. Let me just add the pivot points, show you what extreme we've got to in terms of the pivots. Okay, so at the moment you're currently in the uh, R2 category, your R, R1 category, sorry, your R2 and R3 slightly higher, okay? And again, bear in mind, gap fill is at 3303. Okay, so on that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.